Here's a step that I want to talk about that up until now I haven't really needed to worry about it so much, although I probably should have. So this is something I'm going to correct going forward, and that is the need to remove the amine blush from the surface of Cured Epoxy before doing any uh, sanding. So one thing that, that this will cause is if you don't remove this, um, it's like a residue. If you don't remove this residue from the, uh, from the epoxy, what, the, what will happen is any additional layers that you put on top of the cured epoxy uh, may not stick to it and you can get delamination. So it's really important to remove this, um, especially if it's on there really bad. Now I'll, I'll explain what that is in just a moment, but um, it does need to be removed. And what, what it is, is the, the hardener in epoxy um, should form a chemical reaction with the resin. And if you have uh, cooler temperatures with higher humidity, and um, strangely enough, if you have a lot of carbon dioxide uh, around, then that hardener can bond with the humidity in the air and the carbon dioxide instead of bonding with the resin. And this happens on the surface, and that will leave a um, maybe sometimes a cloudy uh, film on top of the epoxy. It can also um, show itself as uh, like some type of crystals. Uh, so you might see like a crystalline structure on the epoxy. Um, you can also uh, feel it as a, a sticky surface. So if you, if you run your hands over the epoxy after it dries and it feels sticky, that is what's called an amine blush. And it's a residue that needs to be removed. Now, this, this residue, you might think, well, I'll just sand it. Well, all that does is it moves it around and it doesn't actually remove it. You might think, okay, well, I'll remove it when I wipe it with alcohol. Well, it turns out that it's not actually soluble in alcohol. A very good and easy way to remove it is with just some warm water and a scotch Brite pad. And you just go over it and you just scrub the surface, give it a nice scrubbing, and if you actually feel any um, uh, stickiness, uh, you know, beforehand, you want to make sure that that is uh, completely um, removed after you've done the scrubbing. And the same thing, if you have any cloudiness, make sure that that's completely removed. So after you do the scrubbing, don't let this water dry. Take a, a clean paper towel and dry it off. And that will actually remove the, the residue, the amine blush, from there. And once that's done and it's cleared up, then the next step would be to sand this and put, um, you know, more, uh, more epoxy or put fiberglass or whatever you want. Another alternate way, I'll mention this, I'm not doing this, but another thing that you could do is something called peel ply. And peel ply is a layer of almost like fiberglass that you put on top of your surface and you would wet that out with the epoxy and because the amine blush forms only on the surface, when you have the peel ply, it'll form on top of the peel ply. So imagine this is the peel ply here on top of this. The amine blush would form on top of this and then you peel it off. And as you peel it off, the underlying surface is free of the amine blush. And in addition to that, the peel ply will also leave the surface already in a rough texture and you don't need to do any sanding. It's ready to uh, go right away with another layer of epoxy. So I'm not doing that because it just seems a waste to me to, to have to throw away all that peel ply. It's, it's a single use product and uh, I think I'm just gonna go with a, a normal uh, Scotch-Brite uh, brush and some uh, simple warm water and make sure that my surface is uh, completely uh, shiny, uh, clear, and no cloudiness and no sticky residue 
and as long as that's the case, then it's ready for it's ready for sanding and the next layer of epoxy. All right, so I want to get this video out because, um, like I said, I think this is something that I I should have mentioned earlier, and I should have been following this step, and I'm definitely going to be following it uh, in the future. I think. Uh, I probably just lucked out because um, I've been working on this boat so far here in Texas. This has been the, the hottest months and uh, there's not been any rain. So it's been extremely low humidity and very high temperatures. And up until now, I haven't had a problem with the aiming blush. Uh, it's better to assume that there is always aiming blush rather than trying to think, um, okay, well, maybe there is none in this case. So always assume you have a residue that needs to be removed. All right, that's enough for this video. All right, bye.